welcome to a finally weather shifted Saturday. Last week here was brutally hot. Hot and humid and oppressive. Schools closed. People didn't go out. It was just awful. And what was worse is it would rain and get worse. It was terrible. So this morning, when we opened the door to come out for our walk, I was pleasantly surprised at how chilly it is. It feels a little bit like fall. Although here in Cleveland, we know better. It'll get hot again, <laughs> at least one more time. But for today, it's gray and rainy and chilly. It's perfect. I guess I should put the disclaimer on there. It's perfect for an Eeyore kind of person. It's perfect for me and Maddie because we like to snuggle on the couch and watch dog TV out the front window. It's perfect to do homework. It's perfect to read. It's perfect if you can just disconnect from the chaos for a little bit and build a blanket fort. And it's also spiritually, sensorily, is that a word? Um, it's perfect as we are moving towards Rosh Hashanah, uh, the Jewish New Year, and all of the Jewish High Holy Days. We are nearing that, and it begins with Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, the new year. And then we move into the 10 days of awe, A-W-E, awe. And then into Yom Kippur, which is the holiest of all days. It's the Day of Atonement, or at one mint. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting time these next 10 days, starting tomorrow, finding ways to Rejuvenate, refresh, remind, reconnect, and uh, do all that stuff that we do at the New Year's. That's pretty much all that's on our mind this morning. Chilly and gray, and the new year's approaching. <laughs> I'll just share one last thought, which I think is why both Maddie and I are kind of quiet today, and it's just, there's so much going on. There's too much going on. There's so much stimulus, and there's so much battle fatigue, and there's so much to protest, and so much to be angry about and so much to hope for, and so much to believe in. There's just so much. I was talking with some family members yesterday about some memories I had of childhood. And there was a lot to worry about then. It was just different. Of course, it was different. Everything now just seems so life-threatening and life-changing, and it's just, as I would like to remind myself, it's a marathon. That was great. So on this rainy day, if you're able to, just take a moment. Take a moment. And prepare for the reflection time of a new year. You know, even if you're not Jewish, you can celebrate it. Shh, don't tell anybody I said that. But you really can, if you really want to. <laughs> Maddie says it's okay. Have a good Saturday. Peace.